All right, what do you think we can do with a pumpkin and a kibacha squash? Well, we're going to be making pumpkin kibacha squash soup. Come and watch. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living. Bacha.
Okay, so as you can see, we've removed the skin out of the kabacha, and we also took the skin off of the pie pumpkin. I call them pie pumpkins because they're a little bit smaller than these giant uh, pumpkins over here that are used for like lanterns and things. All right, now this is another thing. Say, let's pretend you didn't have to have the vegetable stock on hand. Watch how you handle that. Because you've removed the bitter part of the pumpkin and the bitter part of a kombucha, which is the skin, it's especially bitter on the kombucha, you grab a, uh, a measuring cup with four glasses of water. You can pour it all over the top if you want. Now the minimum you need is a cup and a half. But this is going to help you get the stock. Everything in here is going to taste good, especially when it's finished. Now we're going to put the cover back on. Let's see. And then we're going to put the sealer knob, where my fingers are at, in the middle. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to adjust the time. You'd need between five to eight minutes. But you only need five minutes when you're cooking it smaller. So we press manual. And then we're going to be bringing this down to five minutes. Okay, so then we're going to wait for it to start. And that indicates that the cycle is starting. Okay, so we'll come and see you and I'll explain what happened after the pumpkins are cooked. Alright, so what are we going to do with the other half of the pumpkin, which is this one here, the pie pumpkin, and the kibbutzah? Well, it's simple. We're going to cook it in the oven for an hour. And what this is going to do, I've done this in several videos, so I'm, I'm just going to incorporate putting it at the end of this video so you see nothing is wasted when you're vegan. I'll be eating this throughout the next few days with beans and who knows what else, and I'll be a very happy person. As you see, I'm still working on the seeds so that we can have a good time with these. All right, so we're still waiting on the Instapot. It hasn't come up to pressure yet, but everything is getting there. Okay, so what we've done, you can see it now, the squash that I'm cooking in the oven, not in the Instapot, is in the middle rack. Alright, so the timer on the oven, thanks to Linda, who reminded me, is on and is cooking. On our timer, we have the hours over here at first and the minutes on the next. So, let me show you what that looks like. So you see the timer is on the right side and the temperature is on the left side. All right. <clears throat> All right, so now it's completely vented. The lock is down. Okay, put this in a safe place. Now this is completely soft, which is what we really need. And I can even see the liquid. So we're going to store this in a big pot and we're going to cook this tomorrow. Now, why are we doing it tomorrow? Because I ate the other squash. <clears throat> I ate the other squash, and I am, and it's almost nine o'clock at night. We want to put this away, this stuff, uh, this squash away, and we're going to make the soup tomorrow. Now, remember to use one of these plastic spoons to get it out. And you see it's falling apart right as I'm... So it doesn't matter, you're going to be pulverizing this to make the soup. So it doesn't matter if it breaks right now. And that's why there's no skins. And on top of that, the juice from the bottom, which is perfectly good, is going to sit inside of here. So it'll be hydrated with that. But that doesn't matter because that's going to be part of your soup. Now we can't pick this up right now because this just got released. So as soon as it cools down, I'll be putting this away too. You can see the large container I'm using here. Let's see if we can get it out. It's pretty hot, but there's the strainer. And there is the four cups of juice. 
your vegetable broth. So in essence, if we were to take this right here and stick it in a, in a blender, we could make the soup right now because it's hot and everything is going to be blended all together. You could, for example, do this. It's got a very nice mild flavor. So I think what's, it's going to happen just fine. All right. So see, see me for the next, the next part of this video. And we'll see you soon. Forget it. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.